guys, welcome back to Bobble Pop Kids. Get ready for an MLP box of goodies and some happy places. I was shopping the other day and I found this adorable little box. It's like a little lunch tin. It's got all the ponies on there. So, so cute. Ooh, look at the side, it's pink. The front is all rainbow colors. And when I was out, I also got the entire, entire set of Happy Places. All of the sets, all the dolls, the cute little dollhouse. I cannot wait to show them to you. But in this video, we're going to look at Lippy Lulu. No time to waste. We have so many cute things to look at. Let's open up this MLP box. And then we'll see our cute little Happy Place girl. Let's do this. Here we go. Here is the box. Now, I have tons and tons of My Little Pony boxes. But this one I have never seen before. The back is kind of like flat. We get Twilight Sparkle, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie. And when you flip it around, it's kind of like a 3D image going on. Really, really bright. Even one. more than this amazing looking box, I think you're gonna love what is inside. I found tons of little goodies, little knickknacks, odds and ends, lip balms. Let's get to it. Just like I always do, I put a mix of all different things, cutest things ever. Let's see. So, ooh, look at this one. It is a Twizzler pen. <laughs> Can you believe it? You know I love my stationery. It is a pen in the shape of a candy licorice Twizzler. Oh, it looks so, so real. I want to eat it. Get a Jelly Belly, one of those little roller bombs. Oh, look at this. It's very cherry flavored. I just thought it was so cute. Kind of looks like a lava lamp. Lip Smackers! You know I love my Lip Smackers. I found this amazing little tin here. It's the best flavor forever collection. Oh, it's got all these little ice cream sodas on there. And when you flip it, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six different flavors. Ooh, look at that. Root Beer Float, Vanilla Malt Shake, <laughs> Pina Colada, Cherry Cream Soda. These are like the wackiest flavors ever. Cannot wait to test them. Oh, of course, I had a little Happy Please special delivery box. Some splashlings. Love those little cuties. Ooh, this was kind of strange. I was at this little store that sold blind bags, and I saw this one. It is the coolest thing ever. They kind of remind me of Happy Places. They're like these little homewares, but they all have Hello Kitty on them. This looks like a little soap, a little bath, a little lotion. Too, too cute. I cannot wait to look at these. What else is in here? Ooh, I got this super bright volumizing plumping lip gloss. It's bright pink. I tried one of these before. I didn't like the other color, but maybe this will be a little better. Ooh, look at these. We have some scented erasers. <laughs> look how adorable they are. They're in like these little cartons. Looks like we get grape, chocolate, fruit punch, strawberry, and milk. A few more things left in the box. We get these two little rolly ones. Look at these lip balms. They are so cute. One has roses. One has these little shapes on there. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what flavor they are. I've never tried them before. Final treat we're going to be looking at is this flower slime. <laughs> if you can believe it or not, they have this amazing little flower slime. It's all of these metallic colors. Ooh, I can't wait to squish it around. So there you go. We have a huge mix of things to look at from stationery, erasers, these little ones here. Ooh, I cannot wait to see these Hello Kitty things. But I think we should start with the Lip Smacker tin. Here it is. And I have to say, I'm like the biggest fan of Lip Smacker. They have the yummiest and most realistic scents. Whatever they write on the package is what it's really going to smell like. So in this set, we get Cherry Cream Soda, Root Beer Float, ooh, Vanilla Malt Shake. I'm going to love that. Sour Grapes. <laughs> I thought these were all like milkshake ones. Orange Sherbet and Pina Colada. It comes in this really cute tin. You can store them in. Check them out. I opened it up, and this is what the tin looks like. Oh, it even looks cuter out of the packaging. Look at these cute little milkshakes making me hungry. I love the pastel colors. The back is kind of like pink stripes. Looks like wallpaper. And there are your lip smackers. You can close it up and save them in this little tin. I just love it. Let's 
pop them on out and test them. Here are your six flavors. And one thing I love about this set is there are no duplicates. I probably have like 200 different lip smackers, but none of these are repeat flavors. <laughs> That's just so amazing. Trying the cherry cream soda. Ooh, this is such a bright pink. I wonder what the color is. Ooh, it's like a light pink inside. Oh, wow, this smells so, so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it. it. Smells like strawberry ice cream or like a cherry ice. Really, really creamy. You could smell the berry or cherry. So, so good. Love that one. One I've been most excited to try is this vanilla malt shake. I love a vanilla milkshake. I think I drink one almost every single day, even though I shouldn't. They're just so good and creamy. Ooh, and this kind of has like a caramel color or like an off-white. Ooh, and the weird thing about this is it smells like chocolate. It smells like a chocolate bar. There is a little hint of vanilla in there. Oh, but it is so super sweet. Best smelling lip balms. Get ready for your root beer. I love root beer. I don't drink it all the time, but when I do, I love it nice and cold. Ooh, the color looks like root beer, and I love this blue and like kind of brown color. It looks really cute. <sighs> smells just like A and W. It smells like a fresh can of root beer. Mm, I don't know how they get that soda smell in there. Moving from the creamy drinks onto a little fruity one. Oh, look at this orange sherbet. Orange isn't like my favorite scent in the world, but I do love sherbet. Kind of curious how this is gonna smell light orange color Ooh, it has a kick to it it's super super strong it smells like an orange candy really tarty and sweet not so so creamy like a sherbet but it's so so good i really like it so far though i think my favorite has been the cherry cream soda let's move it on to some sour grapes <laughs> i actually love sour grapes those little ones with the white inside eat them all the time so it's purple, it's got a little shimmer to it. Ooh, look how glossy that is. This is a good one. Oh, smells delicious. Actually, sour grapes so far is the sweetest. It's my second favorite after the cherry cream. Oh, it's really good. I wish you could smell this one. Our sixth and final lip smacker is the Pina Colada. Mm, I love anything tropical, coconut, pineapple scent. It's right up my alley, I love it. Ooh, it's got the pina colada color. Mmm, coconutty tropical. <laughs> That's all I can describe it. It's so, so tropical. It smells like beach lotion. I always say that, but anything that's like kind of banana, coconutty, smells like beach lotion. There they all are, and after testing them, this is the best. Cherry cream soda by far, then the sour grapes, then the root beer float. I love that one. Then probably the pina colada. <laughs> they have the cutest color, super bright little lip balms. And you guys can leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. <laughs> Here's our next little goodie out of the MLP box. And it is kind of weird. I have to say I've never seen a blind bag like this in this clear little pouch, but it is so, so adorable. They look like happy places to me. There are these tiny little bottles of lotion and bubble bath, but they all have Hello Kitty on them. Gotta open it. It even came with this paper, and when you open it up, look at all of these accessories you can collect in these bags. They look like little pharmacy products or bathroom items. These would be so funny for the little happy place dolls. They fit perfectly. I think I'm gonna put them in the dollhouse. First up, oh, we get this little container of milk bath. How cute is that? It's got those little babies in there. And look at the picture. Ooh, it comes with a lid. So adorable. These are like Barbie accessories. Next up, we get this little bottle of Hello Kitty conditioner. Oh, it's so, so funny looking. So super tiny. Here it is next to a little Happy Places. You can see they're like the same exact size. 
Do I think the Hello Kitty one may be a tad bit cuter though? Look at it's pink. We also get this like little reddish maroon bottle. It's got a Hello Kitty on there. It says shampoo. <laughs> so, so funny. So you get your conditioner, your shampoo. This little thing really is just too cute for words. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a sponge with maybe some bubbles. But it's like a little roller sponge. <laughs> it's got the Hello Kitty face. It really rolls. It's just so super tiny. This next thing, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but if I took a guess, I think it's that little paper you line the toilet seat with. It kind of looks like that. Or maybe like a lampshade, but I think it's the toilet seat paper. So cute with the little Hello Kitty face with whiskers. And then the final one is this little like soapy thing, which I think goes inside of the milk bath. It pops right in there and you close it. There you go, that cutesy little Hello Kitty blind bag with all these little bathroom products. I love this and I have to go back and get more of these. They had so many different ones with all these accessories. I think my favorite is the milk bath. It's got those little twin stars. Love these. Candy pen, would you look at this pen? It is a maze. I cannot take the cuteness. First of all, I love Twizzlers, I love licorice, and this thing is just so realistic looking. I wonder how it feels, if it's like soft and jelly-like, or if it's kind of hard plastic. It just makes me hungry. There it is, your little Twizzler pen. So for some reason, I don't know why, I thought it would be kind of like gummy and bendy, like a real piece of licorice, but it's not. It's kind of a hard, glassy plastic. It is just so, so shiny. It just looks too, too real. It looks like a candy. Cutest little thing for your pencil case to bring to school. And I wonder what color it's gonna write in. Let's see, how cute would it be if it wrote in candy red? Ooh, it's blue. Such a funny pen, but it's got a serious blue color. Perfect for school. I know you usually can't write with those other colors. Ooh, and if you love stationery, moving on from the pen to some scented erasers. Oh, these are so cool. They're in like these little milk cartons. are too adorable for words. We get five different scents, strawberry, mixed fruit, chocolate, grape, and milk. <laughs> what is milk supposed to smell like? You gotta pop them out of there. The only thing I'm not liking about these is they have a big staple on there. I don't know why they did that. They stapled it. It's kind of weird. I guess we're just gonna have to like rip the box a little because I just do not know why they did that. Oh, there's like a little cubie in here. Ooh, it's a pink cube. Ah, delish. Of course, it's gonna smell like strawberries. Kinda smells like strawberry milk. Just the cutest little razor ever. It looks like a block of gum. Ah, so, so good. Going for the mixed fruit. Oh, it's got a little pineapple, kiwi, banana. It's like a fruit punch. These are so tiny. Ooh, a little yellow one. Another goodie. This one smells like pure pineapple. It smells like a pineapple chunk. So funny if you brought these to school. Your friends would see you sniffing it. They say, is she crazy? What is she doing with her erasers? Ooh, I am most excited for this one. Chocolate. It's so funny because on every single package it says do not eat eraser. Because I think some little kids might think this is candy, but it is not. It's just for show. Ah! Oh, a little chocolate chunk. Doesn't smell like chocolate, it smells like banana. It smells like a real banana. That's weird. I wonder why they didn't give it a chocolatey scent. Oh, the little package is just so, so cute. Move into the grapes. I'm sure it's gonna have a purple little cube. I could literally look at these erasers all day. <laughs> they are just amazing. And I'm just ripping this open. Oh, 
why did he have to steeple it? I just don't get it. Boop. Yep, it's purple. Oh, it smells like grape juice. Really, really good. And I would never use these to erase things. I would just keep them. Last one, we got a little moo cow milk. Oh, this is like the cutest one of all. It looks so real. And I wonder what milk smells like. It doesn't really have a scent. Maybe it'll be like vanilla. Ooh, that opened the best. <laughs> That's the one I like ruined the least. Here it is, little white cube. Vanilla, it smells like vanilla yogurt. Really, really creamy or even like an ice cream. There are your smelly milk carton erasers. Oh, they smelled so, so good. Move it along. Switching it back to beauty from the stationery. We are back to the lippy glosses, my favorite things. So we get this super hot pink one, a jelly belly, and these little ball ones. I actually picked these up at the car wash when I was there checking out. I had never seen them before. And I was even so surprised they sold something like this there. They're so cute. Ooh, they have the shape of an EOS. Look at that. Smells so, so good and fresh. Really, really, really glossy. And it just is almost like an EOS. And it doesn't have a scent. But there's a scent. I finally found it. It is mango. Mm. It smells just like a mango. This is just like the cutest little thing. How cute to pop in your pencil case. I love all of those designs on there. Here's the second one. It's pink with like these pink roses. Ooh, here's the scent. I didn't even see this before. It's mint. Ooh. I thought it was going to be like a cherry or strawberry. See how minty it's going to smell. Oh, that looks like a photograph. It's got some black and some pink. Ooh, it smells spicy. It really smells like a spicy toothpaste, but it smells so good and fresh. I think I like this one a little bit more than the mango just because of the strange flavor. You usually don't see a mint lip gloss. These were good The ones. next one, and I always love a good lip plumper. And they kind of tingle when you put them on. And I tried this brand in other colors. I didn't like it too much. So I'm going for another color. It's pink. It looks like it's going to be bright. Ooh. Here's what it looks like on the skin. It could have been a little bit darker pink and a little bit more neon. Because if you look at the applicator, look at that. It is so, so cool. But it's not really bad. kind of like it. If you guys know me by now, you know I love my candy glosses. So here's a new one. It is the Jelly Belly Berry Cherry. I love these ones. They're kind of like oily. They look so, so glossy on the lip. And it's so cute. It's got these little red things floating around. They look like jelly beans. Got the little logo on there, little jellies. It's a roller lip gloss, and I always swear they must put some kind of like oil in here. There it is. Looks like a lava light or a lava lip gloss. I've made those before actually. They were super easy. Ah, it smells so good. I don't know if it smells like jelly bellies, but it definitely has a cherry scent to it. Oh, I love those little things floating. I like it. Here's my four new glosses, and out of all of these, the Jelly Belly is the winner. It smells so good, although I have to say this minty little ball here was so amazing. Really fresh scented. Love them all. Woo, and my hand is so smooth, I put probably 20 glosses on it today. We are moving on to some blind bags. Yes, we have some happy places and some splash links. Oops, and I almost forgot we have to open our little Lippy Lulu. Oh, she is so adorable. I cannot wait to open my whole entire Happy Places set. In a couple days, I'm gonna do that. I just can't wait. So, I think we're gonna open this first. And these are the cutest. They're like these little ocean friends, really small. Ah! Whoa! Wow! Yeah, I have opened so many of these before. This has to be the cutest little fish ever. Look, she's got lip gloss on. She's so super sparkly and rubbery. Oh, we gotta find out this one's name. Ah! I'm 
the fash fish. What does that mean? Fash fish. <laughs> that is so, so funny. Department in the ocean, we get penny puffs. Oh, she's like a little puffer fish. She is just too, too glittery. Too cute for words. I love her lips. And from the treasure pets, ooh, this is actually a repeat for me. We get Serena Scepter. I also love this one. It's super glittery. Now for our special delivery box. I think I open one of these every single day. I just cannot take it. They are so, so cute. And I cannot wait to set up my little Happy Places house and put all the decorations and little ah, accessories in there. It's going to be so, so much fun. Oops. Open here. Ah, we get a pink tile. And let's see which new ones we're going to get. Here we go, our first one out of that little yellow bag. Ah, oh, it is a new one. And it kind of looks like a lampshade, probably from the Dreamy Bear Parlor. Second one, what could it be? Ooh, these are little on the bigger side. Sometimes I get these teeny tiny little ones, I lose them. Oh, how cute. I actually have it though. This is like a repeat. I haven't had a repeat in such a long time. I think it's like a camera. Hmm. And the third one, what is it, what is it? Oh, I even have this one. It's like a little, I think it's like a photo album. It's so, so cute. It opens and closes. And them, so coming in from the Dreamy Bear, we get lamp, camera, and diary. Oh, it's got a little heart. I love the pink colors on these. That is part. We're onto our final little treat in that MLP tin, and we got some flower slime. Ooh, it's so colorful and metallic looking. Wonder how it feels. Time to test out our tropical flower slime. Looks like a little Hawaiian flower. Ew, look at that. <laughs> It's gross and so pretty at the same time. But doesn't it look like outer space? It looks like the galaxy. Oh, it's so, so cool. I hope one day I can make something that looks like this. I've made tons of slime and putty. But this is amazing looking. Ah, it kind of looks like some galactic puke. <laughs> it's got the craziest colors going on. I love the pinks and purples and oranges. Really is so, so cool. And I'm gonna pop it back in my flower so it doesn't dry out. I cannot even take the cuteness here. So many cutesy little things. Love this little Twizzler pen, the slime, all those little lip smackers, happy places. And I'd love for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all of this stuff, what was your feed? It's finally time to open my little lippy Lulu. Oh, she is beautiful. Look at her hair. She's got kind of like a golden dress and I think she comes with some makeup. Lippy Lulu is in the bathing bunny bathroom. Happiness is checking out the perfect palette in front of the Bathing Bunny bathroom mirror. Bright, glossy, and sometimes bossy, Lippy Lulu is never without her pet can friend, her Take Anywhere beauty kit. Let's pop our little Lulu out of the box and get a closer look at her. Hi guys, Lippy Lulu here, and I love makeup, just like Bubble Pop. Oh, here she is. I cannot take it. First of all, look at her hair. It's in a French braid. And then on top of her little headband, she's got like a lipstick. Whoop, and she's got pink eyebrows to match those pink bangs. I love her dress. It's so fancy. She's got a little kiss mark on it and some pearls. White tights, light pink shoes. Oh, and there's little golden bows. And <laughs> she is just too, too decorated. How does my lip gloss look? comes with these pet kins. Oh, look at this. Ha uh ha, -huh, my makeup is better than yours. <laughs> Just kidding.
there you go guys another video with a box filled with goodies i loved all the lip gloss the happy places even our little lippy girl and we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show and if you want to subscribe you could just click this big yellow bubble with the little bubble gum machine in it so you can subscribe to the channel have a great day bye have a lip on tactic